Hello and welcome to this An Actor Thomas video with me, of course, Actor Thomas. Today we're going to be doing a facts and date video about uh, the next daughter of King uh, George III and Queen Charlotte. This princess was called Princess Elizabeth and here we go. Now, um, Princess Elizabeth was born uh, May 1770 and very much like her sisters, um, spent her childhood and her adolescence in the company of her sisters, her younger brothers uh, when they were very young, the Queen and their father, the King, and the older siblings um, very rarely. And um, yeah, and it was, you know, she. she did very much like what her other sisters did. They had tutors, or governesses, sorry, who uh, taught them the basics of uh, how to be a princess in a royal court, such as reading, writing, music, art, a um, little bit of politics, just enough to be able to get away with having a conversation and pretending to know exactly what they're meant to be going on with. And then obviously, if something caught their attention, they would carry on doing research about it. Now, in um, 1777, no, that's not right, in 1787, sorry, 1787, it is rumoured that Princess Elizabeth um, had a bit of a, um, a relationship and a unofficial marriage according to the Royal Marriage Act of um, 1772 and um, she supposedly got married to the son of one of her father's pages George Ramus I want to say his name is and it is alleged that in 1788 she bore him a daughter a, a little girl called Eliza and it is uh, said that she was um, taken away and raised by um, parents who are who were um, business people but it's never been confirmed and it's never had any written documentation about this so it is uh, rather um, unlikely but in um, 1806 King um, George and his wife Queen Charlotte were thinking about uh, a marriage for their daughter over a period of uh, a few years many potential um, suitors and husbands were put forward one being the um, Duke of Alon uh, who was right so like I say in 1808 um, the potential of the future King of France uh, became an option but um, with Queen Charlotte not wanting her daughter to marry not only a f into the French royal family but also to have to change religion from uh, Church of England to uh, Catholic she was uh, not allowed to go through with this wedding but in um, 1804 1814 um, a royal ball was being um, hosted here in England and a young prince called Prince Frederick of uh, Hesse and Hamburg, I believe, was there. And it is rumoured to have been said that Princess Elizabeth saw him and made the declaration to uh, her sisters and a few friends who were also at the ball, if he be single, I will marry him. And uh, a little time later, after much 
deliberation and conversations between the families, it happened. And um, Elizabeth married uh, Prince Frederick and they uh, moved, they left England to go and live over in Germany. Everything seemed to go quite smoothly during the wedding, during the marriage, sorry, um, such as Elizabeth was away from what she called the very strict and very regimented court over here in England and because she was a little bit more flamboyant, a lot more fun-loving and a lot more carefree than uh, some of the other members of the royal family, she was able to really let her hair down over in um, Hess and ha 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 Hamburg and really enjoy herself. And Another thing was that her husband was also gained a lot of influence and a lot of more power being related into the British royal family. Now, in January 1820, um, Frederick himself succeeded as the Landgrove of Hesse and Hamburg, which means basically the ruling prince. So it's kind of like a small, it's another way of being a smaller principality, really, from his father. And he then obviously had not only his own uh, powers as the, uh, the head of this state, but obviously he also had very close relations with Britain and other um, German states that were also related to Elizabeth, which of course come in very handy. Now, um, for the next 20 years, basically everything ran smoothly. They seem to have had a relatively happy life. They uh, unfortunately didn't have any children, but they, like I said, seem relatively happy. Um, they, there was never kind of, ever, didn't ever seem to be any big problems in the, um, in their realm, let's call it, and there was never kind of any uprisings or any invasions or anything like that, so everything seemed to go smoothly for them. Elizabeth, for her uh, her own part, um, really made um, Germany home for herself, and she tried very, very hard to be a part of um, German life and understanding the culture and everything like that, which of course was very important for her. And her and her husband even made changes to their home, such as having um, kind of like they, they they even made a small little extra outhouse, well, almost like a small miniature palace in their garden. Um, for them to go and relax and enjoy themselves during the summer, which they were, because they were both very much fun-loving individuals. Now, in uh, February of 1840, Elizabeth passed away, and um, she was buried in the mausoleum in, uh, Ham in, in Hesse and Humburg. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've uh, found it helpful. If so, please uh, leave a comment or a like or a, even a subscribe. If you would like, you can uh, become one of my patrons on the Patreon link down below. And I hope I shall see you next week. Goodbye.